Hello again, this is Hiro Uzuki with part 15 of the Mobile Suit Gundam Encounters in Space Let's Play, the game in which if you pilot your suit well, you can get the What If scenario, in which the Gundam Unit 4 is not destroyed and Luce survives. Or is it the What If scenario? Maybe the other course of events was the What If. Who knows? What I do know is we have one last stage left before the Thoroughbred story is finished. So please, join me in this final stage. The Solar Ray, an enormous Xeon laser weapon created from a modified colony, has annihilated over one-third of the Federation forces. Ouch. Delayed, but not halted, the Federation fleet reorganizes itself and continues to advance on the Bawaku. Once the battle commences, it becomes apparent that a Bawaku will be the arena for the final battle between both sides. Acting as potential reinforcements for the 2nd Battalion, the Thoroughbred takes up a position on the northern flank. Yep, in this what-if scenario, Gundam Units 4 and 5, as well as the Thoroughbred, take part in the Battle of a Bawaku. But come on, you saw that one coming. General Rebel, I knew we would win this war somehow. All hands! This will probably be the final battle! We probably. must win, but we must survive as well! Good luck, Lieutenant Lewis. Lieutenant Ford, don't let your guard down. Hey, can you say something nice to me for a change? Never. It'll be over soon. Won't we'll come back alive. <laughs> of course! Yep, here we go. Last stage. Let's do this. This is Ford Romfellow. I'm launching. At the moment, our forces have an advantage, but don't let up until you know it's really over. G04, G05, believe in the power of the Gundam and come back safe. Right. Oh, well, leave it to us. Just make sure we have a place to come back to. Hey, you can't hit me. Right there. Again. And Gelgoobs. That new mobile suit, the Gelgoob, looks pretty awkward. Alright. Well, I mean, the Chimera Core is still a thing, so. your friend.
pressure me. Second half. A high mobility unit is heading your way. Be careful. Mobile armor. And a pair of Gelgook Jaegers. Ready anytime. Now! Cover me! Help is needed this time, Luz. Take this! What is this thing? Be careful, it's fast! It's a mobile armor. A big one. It has a powerful mega particle hand. This customized Gelgu is pretty tough. Ugh, a direct hit! Just look at the defense powers down. This is getting good. That was careless. Take this. Universal Century 0080. After this battle, all hostilities were suspended. Soon after, a formal peace treaty marking the end of the war between the Earth Federation and the Republic of Zeon was signed. Neat. Now, I really can't tell you what that explosion was about, because the Gundam Unit 5 does in fact survive the Battle of Abawaku, though it is heavily damaged. So, in a way, I guess I ended that stage off canon. Or, at least, canonically. So, uh, yeah. That was the final stage of the quote-unquote what-if scenario. Which, if you enjoyed the way this ended, then I might have some good news for you, because back in 2004, Bandai released a novella for Space Beyond the Blaze, as well as the what-if manga for the same side story. So, in a way, this too is canon. But anyway, with that done, I'm going to go ahead and call it here and stop while the stopping's good. So, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, then consider hitting the like button, the subscribe button, leaving a comment, and hitting that bell to stay updated with more videos from me. Now, the campaigns may both be done, but we're not quite done yet. More on that next time. With that, this is Hiro Izuki, signing off. Seriously, what a way to end off. Implication that I was destroyed. At least we know it was only implied, and now we know that I survived. Ugh.